Short and sweet, blood test. I'm on day six of my cycle, I think. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will get the next steps via text tonight. guys so I have got my appointments this morning I got my blood test and then I've got my ultrasound and hopefully we'll see how far I'm progressing I'm on day eight of my cycle and six of minutes well that was I think the quickest I've ever had an ultrasound uh, blood test were got in straight away um, and then I got my ultrasound done um, from what I could count there was five ready to go on my right side and about six on my left um, they don't really tell me I just kind of count now that I know what I'm looking for um, but considering like I said before that today is only day six on meds and day eight of my cycle I think that's looking pretty good probably have another week and then I'll be doing surgery so it's day 10 of my cycle. I'm actually in the waiting room of the ultrasound place. I've already had my bloods done today, so it's Friday. So I had bloods on Tuesday, bloods and ultrasounds Wednesday, and now bloods and ultrasounds Friday. Um, and about to see how I'm progressing. So I will check in with how many I see on the screen when I get back. So, finished up my appointment. Um, I feel like the right looks the same number and then the left maybe one or one more, two more maybe. Um, the technician that I've had this round, it was the same lady today as it was two days ago. Uh, I just, she didn't measure ones that I thought looked better big enough obviously she's a technician she knows what she's doing but I just feel like the last girl I was with was measuring more of them um, so there are more there than she is measuring she obviously just by eye thinks they look too small so I've still got more that are close behind my guess would be if I had to guess at this crazy thing what would be happening next is um, so today's Friday so then I'm guessing Monday they'll want to do bloods and ultrasounds again and if things look good enough for them they'll probably get me to take my trigger and schedule surgery for Wednesday if it doesn't look good on Monday they'll probably want to do another test of ultrasound possibly Tuesday or Wednesday and then possibly surgery Thursday or Friday so that's my guess. We will see what happens. Um, I'm actually in a different car if you can't tell today. Uh, I, my mom and stepdad came over last night for dinner and so did my brother. And um, we just hung out. My mom is now going back over east to the east coast of Australia. They're going to finish their road trip around. Uh, so she left me the car. So I get to have the car while they're gone for a couple of months. So Chad and I now don't have to share the one for the moment, which is really nice. So yeah, uh, doing my appointment, heading off to work. It's casual Friday, hence why I'm not on my usual black. And um, yeah, I feel pretty good at the moment. Um, I guess I'm still getting quite nauseous. Uh, especially at work bending over doing stuff I get very nauseous food has been really weird like not very hungry um, and then starving and then feel really full really quickly um, hormones are a crazy thing let's just say that <laughs> smells are still very strange uh, I yeah a lot of the nausea is from smells so anyway aside from that feeling pretty good 
I am feeling probably a little more hopeful than I did at the beginning of starting this. I still can't really even get my head around thinking about a baby at the end of it this time just because of the miscarriage last time I think. I think I was so excited and hopeful the last two times. It's not that I'm not hopeful. Um, I guess I just, I don't know. Emotionally I can't quite handle thinking about that side of things yet and it's not that I don't think it won't work. It's just yeah I just can't go there yet so um the word I keep coming back to is trust just trust God trust the process trust the timing and yeah so that's what I'm sticking with so if you guys are going through this crazy journey of IVF or you're just following along with us uh one thank you and second just know I'm praying for you uh, a couple more people have come onto my radar who maybe don't watch my vlog, but I've met in person. And so just praying for them and their situations. And um, we do have a God that's big enough. And that's what I have to stamp my hope and my trust in is God and not the process. So, um, yeah, I'm just praying for you guys. I love you all. And until next time, I will see you around.